guys. Today is Wednesday. And unfortunately, I'm sick. And I have been for a few days with the fever and stomach problems and the headache. I'm not going to be too enthusiastic in this video. Just sitting in bed with my blanket and, you know, got my scarf on to keep me warm. Teddy. My Charizard thermos full of tomato soup. So, yeah, Caroline asked for some music requests. Um, I just have one and his name is Mark Gormley. And I think the best song by him would be Little Wings. I'll probably post a link next to this video right over here. Put the link over there. So yeah, check it, because he is God amongst men. In my Jigglypuff journal, I wrote down some notes for this video because I have a lot to say, so it's probably going to be long even though I don't want it to because I feel crappy. I feel pukey. So I might throw up halfway through this video, so just, you know. Okay, so first of all I want to start with Caroline's question because I have, a, it wasn't too hard. For me to think about because I think about zombies a lot pretty much 84% of my brain function is just thinking about zombies yeah so how long would I survive in a zombie invasion if the zombie invasion was similar to left for dead and I was in a group and I knew where the next safe house was and how to get there or I knew of a safe place to go um, I definitely think I would survive pretty long Maybe six months, like Caroline said. I mean, we're both pretty feisty. Yeah, I agree. Feistiness is definitely a plus in a zombie invasion. To be honest, I'm a little squeamish about blood. I'm sure you guys probably know that already. I pass out when I get shots. Every time I get a shot, I pass out. Really thinking about it, I probably would not survive a day. But if I was in a good group, maybe I would. If I was in Caroline's group, I probably would. Matt says I'd do good. Okay. But he also says I'd be a really great Pokemon trainer. Even though I only catch the squishy ones in the game. What kind of traits do you look for in a guy? Um, when I was thinking about this, I thought about how my opinions on men have changed. I started with what I thought about guys in junior high which is really when I first started becoming interested in them. And the first thing that came to mind was, of course, Jeremy Wilson, because everyone had a crush on him. Everyone, there was no one that did not have a crush on him. Even Brad had a crush on him. Sorry, Brad, if you're watching this. And that's Bradley Tyler Smock I'm referring to. I liked his hair, nice and shaggy and brown and shiny. And me and Emma talked about his nose. He supposedly broke it jumping onto a couch and hitting his nose on the arm of the couch, but I don't know, I think he was just born that way. The baggy blue sweater that he always wore where the sleeves kind of only let his fingertips poke out, I really liked that for some reason. I used to write stories in junior high, just like, because I was a super nerd, and um, all the guys in my stories always wore sweaters like that, because... This is really embarrassing, wow. Okay, and I liked his legs because they were slim yet muscular. That was nice, yeah. And he had nice wrists. He had the good, like, bone right here. That's That was a nice... Stuck out. That was really nice. And then freshman year, I was more of, like, an anime nerd. And I was really digging the Asian guys. And, um... The traits that I liked about Asian guys were their hair. They did not have nice hair, usually longish, maybe down to like here. And um, yeah, fluffy, layered, nice. Um, also liked their lips. My Asian husband at Mitsua, he is also known as Pillow Lips because he has great lips. I think that was freshman year or sophomore year that we did the Asian husbands also. And I liked them when they had veiny hands. Just, that's a weird thing of mine. Good veins that kind of meander around. Anyway. 
sophomore year, I started to get into older men. Just happens. I liked them with crew cuts. I don't know why I went from long shaggy hair to crew cuts, but yeah, it only they only look good on some guys too, so I don't know. I've kind of lost interest in that. But they had to have a good jawline, like a good solid angular jawline. I liked that. And definitely arm hair then. I got Yep, that was definitely a good part. And now kind of back then and still now I really like guys' voice, if they have a good voice. That is definitely, I don't know why, that is just, a, that's, that's a gimme for me. And I like shaggy hair still now. And I kind of have a thing for guys' eyebrows, just like, I don't know, if they look nice, then I'm good. Yeah, that's what I have to say about that. I feel crappy. I'm tired. I guess since I went through my progression of interest in men, um, I'd like you guys to share a little embarrassing crushes and why you liked them through the ages. That would be interesting. I'd like to hear about that. Um, you know, go ahead and chronicle your, your, um, crushes and interest in men and I'll look forward to that so yeah this is all I really have to say I'm kind of tired and feel kind of gross yeah so I'm gonna go yeah okay so long one night I'm playing and I felt sick and I practically keeled off the stool and she says, get that son of a bitch back on that stool, play. I had, there was a couple of customers there. So again, I fell off the stool. She says, what the hell is the matter with him to one of the girls? And she said, well, he must be sick. So they sent for a doctor, and he looked at me, the doctor, and he said, he, he's got the measles. She says, get him the hell out of here. I don't want any sick Jews around me.